Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna run through how to fix deliverability in just five minutes. Now, this is really important because at the end of the day, if people aren't even receiving your emails, nothing else matters. So let's dive in. Okay, so how do you figure out that your email deliverability is trash? Well, what it really comes down to is three different metrics to look at. Number one is the spam rates, which is the percentage of emails that are ending up in spam. Number two is the bounce rates, which is the percentage of emails that are bouncing. And number three is the unsubscribe rates, which is the percentage of people who unsubscribe from your emails after receiving an email. So if you wanna know some like general benchmarks, here are some general benchmarks for you. Good open rates would be 20 plus percent. Good click rates would be four plus percent good bounce rates would be less than 0.5 percent good unsubscribe rates would be less than 0.3 percent and then good spam rates would be less than 0.08 percent now if you are using Klaviyo, here's a quick way to find out your deliverability stats you just need to go into the analytics tab go to deliverability and then you'll find your key stats here so you'll see your open rate your click rate your bounce rate your unsubscribe rate and your spam complaint rate it will give you a red flag here and tell you if it needs attention so just keep a close eye on that this is something we'd recommend you check on a weekly or a monthly basis so if you've determined your deliverability is trash there are five key areas where your deliverability can be hurt the first is where email bounce. Bouncing is basically when you send an email to a desired recipient, but that email never actually makes it to that recipient's mail server. And so the email does not actually get received. There's two types of bounces here. Number one is hard bounces. A hard bounce basically is just something permanent like a fake email or misspelled email. If you're using Klaviyo, they automatically clean these for you. The second is emails marked as spam. Now the main three causes of this are, number one, the recipient has marked your sender email address as spam. Number two, is the sender's email deliverability reputation is low, which means there could be poor server scores or issues with the ESP. Like, you know, if you're using MailChimp or if you're using another ESP, they could have issues with that ESP specifically. So the email platform or the servers themselves could have an issue. The other piece here is low engagement from emails. So a low percentage of people clicking CTAs and high unsubscribe rates or people marking it as spam. And then the third piece is red flags in the subject line or the email email content. So some examples of this would be like using only images in your email. So if you're using no text at all, spam words in the subject line, links to non-credible websites, using all caps like this. Grammatical errors can trigger spam filters as well. And then also having no address can trigger spam filters. Now optimizing these spam rates, use a 60-40 balance of image to text ratio. Don't use spam words. So there's a couple of free tools here. This is actually just a guide from Klaviyo directly on email deliverability. If you need that link, just let me know. And then this is a free tool that we use. This is called Spam Checker. It's by Mail Meteor. And basically, you can just plug in your entire email and it'll tell you, hey, there are issues with this right now. You got to check this out. Remove this. These words are wrong or these words are kind of shady. Really, really cool tool. The other key things here is you can change your ESP. So your email service provider jump from like MailChimp to Klaviyo or something along those lines. Test the content first. This is really important. See if the content is flagging something. And if it is flagging something, then change your content. Double check to ensure there's no spelling or grammatical mistakes. And then also make sure that there's an unsubscribe button, an address and an email in every single email you send. Okay, so the third piece is unsubscribe rates. So unsubscribe rates are the percentage of email recipients that unsubscribe from your emails. Main causes of this are going to be lack of segmentation, lack of engagement, largely due to lack of segmentation, emails gathered through giveaways or purchased email lists. Now to optimize these things, number one, increase segmentation. Two is keep only the most engaged users in your campaigns. Three is please do not buy email lists. And then four is if you are doing giveaways, segment those people who opt in for a giveaway into a different list. This is really important. Keep them separate. The fourth piece here is low open rates. So if you have low open rates, this can also trigger ESPs and can lead them to thinking that basically people are just not interested in your content. So optimizing open rates with respect to deliverability is going to be basically Basically, subject line and preview text optimization, frequent list cleaning, and then increased segmentation. The final piece here is low click rates. So if you have low click or engagement rates in your emails, this can also trigger ESPs, especially when you have a lot of opens, but not so many clicks. What this will lead ESPs to think is that your content or your subject line may be super clickbaity. So optimizing these click rates, again, with respect to deliverability, subject and preview line, text optimization, just make sure it's not clickbaity. Free 
frequency of list cleaning, so make sure you're doing this on a regular basis, increase segmentation, and then CTA optim optimization as well. If you don't have a CTA in your email, or if it's super far down, or if it kind of blends in and doesn't really look like a CTA, all things to look at here. So the last piece is just optimizing deliverability. The first, second, and third piece here is all segmentation. It's so important that you actually segment when you're sending your emails out. So make sure your content isn't spammy. And beyond that, check your sending domain reputation as well. A couple of things to look at here is, does the domain get a lot of spam complaints? Does the content look spammy? And are you frequently sending spammy looking type content from this domain? Does it have DKIM enabled, right? You you can check your domain reputation using this tool. So again, this is called IP void. Basically, you just enter that in here. You can enter your domain right in there. Now, the final thing is your IP reputation. So your sender IP address is where the emails are being sent from. So oftentimes with ESPs like MailChimp or Klaviyo, you may have the same sender IP as other businesses. Just be careful and cognizant of your IP reputation. You can also set this up and you can set up a designated IP address as well. If you're using these platforms like if you're using MailChimp, if you're using Klaviyo. So I hope this video helps to optimize your deliverability. If you did enjoy the video, I invite you to like and subscribe. It really does help out. And if you are interested in working with us, click the link below, check out a couple of links that we have and opportunities for you to work with us. Thanks so much. And we'll catch you in the next video.